told this uh, uh, interviewer what she had in her, uh, how you know all these things just by touching the pulse of your patient. See, for that, I will sh share with you a very small story about me, how I came into Ayurveda. So, in my childhood, I used to visit my grandfather's house. And then I used to see a long serpentine queue waiting outside his house to mm. show their hand to my grandfather. Mm. And then he used to hold the hand of a person and just by touching three fingers, he used to tell them different, different things. Mm. Like for example, for someone, he, he would tell your vata or the air element is increasing. Mm. So in future, you may get arthritis or spondylitis and fast mm. aging process or gas and bloating. So try to to reduce raw vegetable, raw salad, and have castor oil every night, one teaspoon full with warm water. And I used to be amazed, you know, when mm. he used to touch the pulse, he would tell exactly what they are having. Mm. And whatever he used to say, they say, yes, I have that. Yes, I have that. So that was in my mind, that impression. And I thought I will also do something similar to this. That is the reason I started to learn Ayurveda. I started to learn the pulse reading. And I was so lucky, you know, by God's grace, when I went to the college, I was a very good student. So I could get a nice admission in the college where I could study Western as well as Ayurveda. Hmm. And luckily, the principal of my college, his name was Dr. Madhav Sane. Hmm. And Dr. Madhav Sane was one of the most famous pulse reader in Mumbai. You won't believe was such a great pulse reader. He used to just touch the fingers. He used to draw a diagram of a person's heart. And he used, he used to tell that in your heart, this artery, this branch is this much person block. Mm. You won't imagine. Mm. And I used to go do the angiography. Come next day, we used to, we used to be a student. Then we used to compare, you know, whatever uh, Dr. Madhav Sane draw and whatever was the report. And you won't believe it used to be exactly the same. Mm -hmm. So I was so lucky to learn the pulse reading, science of pulse reading under Dr. Madhav Sane. And then when I started my practice into Ayurveda, initially I was practicing Western medication because mm -hmm. people want quick fix. They want I'm have they, they used to tell me I have pain or I have fever. Tomorrow I have to go and attend my work. Mm -hmm. So give me something which can immediately my problem and tomorrow I can go to my work. Mm. But when I started to practice Ayurveda later on in my uh, my clinics, more and more people and longer queue of patients started to come to me. Mm. Because I used to tell them just by the pulse, you're having spondylitis or you are having diabetes or you are having blood pressure without doing any reports. Mm. So they used to be very surprised and they used to bring their relatives and their friends and slowly, slowly, they used to invite me into different countries, like how you came to meet me and you saw the results, you saw my pulse reading. Hmm. This was the first time in my life I went out of out of India and I went to Lebanon. Lebanon was my first international wow. trip. of. Hmm. So I won't forget in my life, whole of my life. So that <laughs> <laughs> it was a, a, a nice beginning, it, it seemed. Yes, it was the best beginning of my life, which you did. Thank you very much for that. Uh, Dr. Uh, Sumita, from what you told me, so Ayurveda, it is in your family. You get something. What do you get from your grandfather as a, a, an Ayurvedic knowledge? Yes. My maternal, my mother's father. He lived up to 97 years. You won't believe. He was walking without the stick. Hmm. He was walk, walking without the stick and he had no eyeglasses. Mm -hmm. He could run. He could read everything without uh, wearing the eyeglasses. Mm -hmm. But what you and learn from he him? Started to come, he started to have new teeth. Uh -huh. okay. okay. He used to follow everything which was written in Ayurveda. Uh -huh. And till the end of his life, he used to have like four to five teaspoonful of ghee. You know, clarified mm. butter, mm. which doctors tell you not to have because you will have heart problems. But uh -huh. he lived up to seven and he used to eat ghee every day. Oh. Mm -hmm. how, many uh, how many spoons ghee? They are asking me. 
मिनिमम थ्री टू फोर स्पून घी आई हैड सीन विथ माई आईज ही यूज टू इट टिल द एंड ऑफ हिज लाइफ डू यू हैव सम नॉलेज फ्रॉम हिम writing by writing or he 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 kept something yes. for you uh, are you uh, using some yes he gave me all his books all his writing all his uh, whatever he made he he pass on to me and mm. many formulas medicine formulas he gave me which i made fda approved in india and i export all over the world and believe me you must have seen more than 2 lakh people are using it with excellent result Mm-hmm. you have seen so many clients of mine mm-hmm. cured with psoriasis arthritis diabetes blood pressure infertility issues you have seen fibroids you let, have let seen let us talk of this uh, uh, chronic diseases uh, you are treating how yes. and uh, you, you treat for example diabetes cancer let us start by diabetes it is your field how you treat yes. it what is the difference between your treatment and the allopathic treatment okay Uh, according to ayurveda diabetes is nothing but the kapha imbalance hmm. everyone must be knowing about vat pitta and kapha yes or yes I... no no so kapha is the combination of water and earth element yeah okay if you has more water and earth element hmm. then you tend to bloat very easily hmm. you put on weight very easily mm-hmm. and then when this mucus or this kapha goes inside the channels of the pancreas Hmm. blocks the pancreas then there is a uh, difficulty in producing insulin hmm. and then slowly the sugar starts is in one kind of diabetes hmm. not all there is one kind of di- diabetes hmm. which comes because of the blockages of pancreas okay so when you give them diet which digesting the mucus in the arm hmm. like lots of moong hmm. uh, khichdi hmm. boiled vegetable soups the foods which are very easy to digest and drying in nature hmm. that will uh, digest the block remove the block from the pancreas and opens the channel for the flow of better insulin hmm. and then slowly slowly the sugar starts to come under control hmm. so initially what i do initially i continue them with western medication because if you stop that time then it will increase very much hmm. so initially you have to give them both allopathy well as ayurveda and slowly 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 once they start to the sugar level starts to come down then you can slowly slowly reduce and stop the western medication and insulin and whatever they are taking mm. uh, dr sumta we can be more close to your uh, laptop or a phone because we hear uh, you sometimes very bad uh, okay now can you hear me yeah, now it is better okay about no. cancer are you treating cancer and how see cancer you cannot cure one thing once the cancer is all full fledged you cannot cure hmm. but in ayurveda you have very good herbs which can help you to improve the immunity hmm. prevent the cancer and once you already have completed the tre- treatment of cancer you hmm. can take ayurvedic treatment or hmm. further uh, relax mm-hmm. and you can take the ayurvedic herbs along with chemotherapy or along with allopathic whatever you are doing mm-hmm. to reduce the side effect of chemotherapy like the hair falls or acidity or burning or mouth ulcer mm-hmm. or excess of heat in your system all these things you can control mm-hmm. with taking the ayurveda simultaneously along with the allopathic medicines whatever you are doing mm-hmm. okay and ayurveda can help you to improve the immune system against any such diseases mm-hmm. so if your What immunity about... is... okay or if you have hereditary in your uh, family mm-hmm. like if your mother had a breast cancer history and if you don't want it then you can take ayurveda as a prevention for that mm-hmm. what about high pp uh, high bp high blood pressure comes under pitta imbalance when your body is too much uh, having lots of toxins or acid or heat then mm. when the heat goes up in the head area it will give you high blood pressure according to ayurvedic theory mm. so what you have to do is you have to follow the pitta diet like cooling diet make mm. yourself more and more alkaline mm. try to re- reduce too much sour and fermented food because 
sour and fermented will give you excess of pitta or heat in your system mm. so try to be more and more alkaline as i suggest cow ghee is the best for cooling mm. so try to have cow ghee in the food along with that there is a very beautiful murmur treatment i always suggest for mm. uh, blood pressure patients mm. first what you can do is here is a very nice murmur to make your mind stable and mm. to reduce the stress and improve the sleep so okay. take little cow ghee in your fingers and mm. apply on this area mm. which is a murmur point for blood pressure and press this point six times like this press and release press and release six times with with ghee with ghee before mm. you go to bed mm. and put a little bit ghee on your fingertips and rub on the sole yeah. below the feet rub mm. it proper because mm. below the also there are murmur points for the brain mm-hmm. so once cool automatically the mind will become cool and you will get a beautiful sleep like a baby okay mm. i have experienced so many blood pressure patients getting mm. excellent result with these remedies mm. home remedy mm-hmm. i'm not telling you everyone will get 100% results you know but something will click you know whatever i am going to share with you today is mm. from my 25 years of experience into ayurveda mm. so if you can grab one or two remedies years, you see you seem much more young than 25 doctor uh, sumi <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you <laughs> if you follow at least one or two tips also you know mm. you will start 20 30% more better and younger and mm. your problems try to slowly slowly go away mm. Okay. What about cholesterol, Dr. Sumita? Cholesterol, according to Ayurveda, is again nothing but the kapha imbalance and arm. You know arm? Do you remember arm? Yeah, yeah. Arm is a mucus formation. When your digestive fire is weak, hmm. whatever food you eat doesn't get digested pro- properly hmm. and forms into some kind of mucus which starts blocking your channels. Hmm. Okay? When this mucus goes into your blood supply, then it is called as cholesterol or triglyceride mm. according to western uh, theory but according to ayurveda theory it is nothing but the stickiness from the food or the arm which blocks the channels mm. so what we do we give the diet to digest the arm mm. or the mucus mm. and best thing for digesting arm is ginger everyone mm. knows ginger yeah in yeah every country, yeah in, in every place of uh, world Yeah, you will get ginger yes so take ginger every day uh, like a 1 cm crush it properly and then boil it in a two glass of water and drink that water every day mm. that is the best remedy for cholesterol and arm and mucus mm. even it will help control your weight mm-hmm. because ginger helps to improve the metabolism yeah mm. so try to have more ginger than dry ginger Mm. Uh, if you have cholesterol issues then do walk exercises meditation yoga and there are many beautiful herbs in ayurveda like arjun mm. have you heard about arjun no, no what is it there is a plant called arjun arjun okay. is the best for cholesterol and heart mm. take tea of arjun instead of drinking tea or coffee in the morning mm. you have arjun sherpa mm mm-hmm. mm like you won't believe you won't believe me i had a client from boston mm. his triglyceride was 690 mm. for 3 years you won't believe mm. i suggested him with arjun sherpa along with that i gave him some supplements of mine mm. and yesterday only he sent me his triglyceride reports every one year we do his reports yeah and now triglyceride is 145 oh I I have the reports I can share with you. Mm-hmm. Mm. Such an excellent result you can get in triglycerides. What about arthritis? Arthritis see basically arthritis are different different types. The uh, there is a rheumatoid arthritis, there is osteoarthritis, there is gout. Mm. There are three main types of arthritis. Mm. But mainly what you see is osteoarthritis. Mm. Like a certain age when your body has lots of vata or the air imbalances mm. the air gets trapped inside the joints and start to dry the joints mm. when the joints 
dry then you hear the cracking sound you know mm, yeah if you seen any indian movies you must have seen the villains they make tak 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 yeah yeah tak 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 on the joints you know mm. but that is not a good sign actually you should tell them you know this is not good thing actually you have arthritis yeah so when you have arthritis the first sim- symptoms is you will start getting the cracking joints in your cracking noise in the joints because mm. your joints are lacking the lubrication mm. okay. and the joints starts to degenerate so you get degenerative arthritis after certain age when the vata increases the calcium and vitamin d3 levels starts to go down mm. and then you start to have osteoarthritis so when you start having cracking joints mm. or when you stiffness in the morning while waking up the best best remedy you must be also knowing is castor oil castor oil okay i must have given castor oil to more than 2 lakh people and got excellent result mm-hmm. excellent just take castor oil one teaspoon at night by drinking water. or how we use it take it with warm water or warm tea or warm milk something mm-hmm. which is warm and uh, liquid mm-hmm. mix it with have it at night Mm-hmm. So, okay only in 15 20 days the pain and the stiffness will start to improve you will feel more lighter and energetic mm-hmm. and the cracking sounds and the stiffness will slowly slowly reduce okay okay if you have degenerative arthritis then the best thing is have white sesame seeds you know tahini okay not about tahini first time in lebanon you remember i was so surprised to see yes, her tahini tahini yes yes sesame oil yes. you have tahini from that time remember the no uh, name also <laughs> remember your uh, your house or your clinic was on the second or third floor yeah and some some females they used to come climb the third floor yeah at the 90 and they used to have no joint pain <laughs> and i was shocked to ask them what do you eat yeah so they they told we eat dates in the morning and we eat uh, white sesame seeds tahini yeah <laughs> okay in ayurveda it is written mm. that the date is the source of calcium and iron for the joints yeah and the white sesame seeds is the best for the joints so yeah. from that to advise everyone to take dates and white <laughs> sesame prevent arthritis and you have a good result in it yes very good result okay I Dr. Sumit, <laughs> you are you are uh, basically specialist on women diseases in Ayurveda, like fibroid, fertility, etc. What is the difference between Ayurveda and modern medicine in the treatment of these cases, and how you yourself treat the, it? See, according to Ayurveda, they give you supplements of different different hormones. Mm. when you have uh, a hormonal imbalance or if you have fibroid or if you have polycystic ovarian disease or if you have cyst in the ovaries they will give you different kind of hormones mm. but what happens in longer period those hormones start to give you many many side effects like you start getting beards yes the girls the beards because mm-hmm. the hair will start yeah stretches mm. and they have lots of extra hair growths Mm. you know then they start to have more other problems yeah they're not good for their beauty you know yeah but what ayurveda does is ayurveda balances you from inside okay balance the vata pitta and kapha by seeing mm. which hormones is out of balance mm. for example you must have seen me treating so many infertility cases yeah most difficult is where ivf Uh, is failed five times iui 10 times they are failed hmm. and uh, we treated uh, her, them and they conceived within 3 months hmm. okay why because we on the root cause hmm. the root cause of fertility is excess pitta in your body okay when you have lots of or lots of pitta the sperm and ovum when they unite when they go inside the uterus hmm. they die when they Yeah. Like yeah. according to sperm and ovum require very cool climate to grow. Hmm. So lots of heat. They don't grow. They just die. Yeah. What I do? I reduce the pitta by giving nice cooling supplements. 
i give them pitta diet to cool the system and mm. then naturally they get pregnant mm-hmm. without doing without Just any diet and proper supplements they preg- they get pregnant and you are always getting a, a positive uh, results from by this uh, method by yes like i'll give you some example there was one patient in london i saw her hmm she came to me i saw her pulse and i told her that you are having virus infection and because of that your child is not able to survive inside the uterus mm mm-hmm. okay. oh. because she had history of three uh three times getting pregnant but the child died in the uterus mm-hmm. it doesn't to nine months mm-hmm. she did not believe me mm-hmm. but uh, from where i will get the virus in london the air is so pure we don't mm-hmm. have any virus you must be having virus in india we don't have in london <laughs> so mm-hmm. i said uh then she asked me from where i will get the virus i told from the pigeon she okay. did not believe pigeon 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 yeah yeah i know i know for pigeon yeah she said in my area there is no pigeon hmm i said fine so she went back she said i don't want to start anything from any supplements from you because i don't believe your diagnosis hmm you won't believe next day she came back crying to me hmm she told hmm. Me, i believe that you are the only one who is who will be able to treat me and you are the only one who can give you a, a, give me a child Mm. I said why what happened yesterday you, you were very upset mm. she said no i went back home and then i realized i have my bed and the blanket which i use i made specially with the bird feather woof mhm so sleeping on a bird feather feather and she was using the bird feather blanket whole night oh so half her life was going with the blood bird feather mhm okay and that was the that she was having this uh, infection and then i told her to get done torch positive torch test mm. which will say that you have that infection she did torch test it came out to be positive oh mm-hmm. and then as soon as i gave her the supplements to remove those viruses and reduce the heat mm. and improve the fertility mm. in fourth month she was pregnant oh and the baby boy was delivered dr sumita I saw you personally treating uh, successfully a lot of skin problems this and yes. disease. How you approach these kind of problems? The skin diseases according to Ayurveda it comes under too much blood impurity. Blood impurity. Blood impurity and excess of heat. Mm. I'll tell you for example if you have lots of heat inside the earth what mm. will happen? expo yeah volcano eruption correct yes hmm. you have lots of heat inside the heart there is a volcano eruption hmm. same way you have lots of toxins and heat inside your blood yeah. the skin is, is nothing but the volcano eruption of that heat hmm. Hmm. it may be pimples it may be psoriasis it may be eczema it may be uh, pigmentation or rosacea whatever it is is nothing but excess of pitta when you have lots of blood impurity and excess of pitta mm. you will get all this diseases mm. so what is try to purify the blood remove the toxins this detox your system and cool your blood okay mm. automatically the skin diseases will go away and new skin will come up mm-hmm. so try to follow pitta diet purify your blood you can find pitta diet on my website yeah. ayushanti mm. so if you go to my website all this diet you can find out there mm-hmm. okay okay uh, what about uh, psychological and psychosomatic diseases like anxiety insomnia depression how do you treat it see psychological whatever problems are there mainly hmm. anxiety depression frustration lack of sleep alzheimer hmm. or uh, you can multiple sclerosis those are nothing but excess of air going up in the head area and drying the hair vata drying the head yeah vata when excess of vata goes up in the head it dries up the nervous system mm. and then you get all this problem mm. and when you have excess of pitta along with the vata which means 
when you have hot air blowing up in the head then you get anger blood mm. pressure frustration destructive emotions mm. all this because of excess of pitta yes and other because of excess of vata mm. so try to follow the diet according to the reasons mm. and the supplements like brahmi jatamansi all these supplements are very good to improve the brain functions mm. and again uh, ghee application is very good for the sleep disorders or mm. anxiety depression and nervousness simply so we app try application here of ghee ghee and below the feet and also have ghee with milk in the morning if mm. you take one cup of hot milk with one teaspoon full of ghee mm. you will get very beautiful skin the wrinkles will reduce the eyeglasses will reduce mm. mentally you will feel more better the uh, memory focus concentration will improve so have more ghee cow ghee hmm. okay. that will help to balance the mental disorders hmm. uh, let us speak little bit uh, dr sumita about uh, a big problem actually corona corona oh, yes. what do you suggest to prevent it do you think that ayurvedic preventions are enough for prevention of corona see uh, according to ayurveda there is nothing written uh, written about the vaccination and all these things but ayurveda says that ojo vriddho hi dehasya tushti pushti balodaya in sanskrit hmm. it means in your system if you increase ojas yeah then good strength good stamina good vitality good longevity and good immunity hmm. 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 so if you get rid of any bacteria viruses or you know any infection yeah or any such uh, epidemics hmm. you have to keep your immune system high and for keeping the immune system high you have to increase the ojas hmm. how you to remember what ojas yeah i know that question will come hmm. you remember what is ojas yeah of course of course this uh, <laughs> but uh, okay you you can explain in brief if you uh, if you want the ojas end product product of shukra dhatu yeah you know whatever food we eat hmm. converts into seven different issues like rasa which is plasma hmm. then rakta which is blood then yeah. muscles mans hmm. then fat made hmm. then asthi which is bone hmm. then majja which is bone marrow and shukra which is sperm or ovum or reproductive system mm. and from the shukra dhatu the end product mm. which is like two drops only in the measurement is called ojas okay and is nothing but the nectar of life yes and ojas is nothing but our immunity okay so when your ojas increases your skin looks beautiful your hair grows very nicely your vision is good you have very good digestive fire your immunity against all the bacteria are very good mm. and when the skin ojas start to go down then mm. you start to have different immune related diseases like corona or hiv or you know bronchitis or uh, tuberculosis or aids all these things you will start getting it because your ojas which is fighting inside mm. is is going down mm -hmm. so ojas is life if if you have ojas you are alive if your ojas comes to zero then you are dead it mm. means it is ojas how is, to increase ojas the best thing to increase ojas is again ghee ghee so try to in your food mm. then have any cow's milk with your food mm. food more satvik diet hmm. satvik diet will always give you good immunity hmm. so try to have freshly cooked vegetables hmm. and dry fruits are the best source of ojas hmm. so do you remember my famous energy drink yeah uh, can you explain it please yes so if you want the best ojas try to do the energy drink like yeah. whatever i go i tell it. everyone to follow this energy drink hmm. and you won't believe if you do it regularly without gap within 3 to 4 months you will start to feel better immunity hmm. your strength increase and if you are popping up so many vitamins vitamins hmm. slowly you will 
require anyone mm. because the energy will contain each and every vitamins and minerals you require mm. for that you want to know what to do yes yes okay so take two dates okay. two dates for for what almonds almonds yeah then you can take two uh, walnut mm. 10 or 20 black raisins mm. and if you like apric- apricot or figs instead of dates you can use that also okay soak every for 2 to 3 hours mm. Mm. then throw the water because it will contain all the heat inside okay and toxins will come out from the dry fruits mm. so throw the water again add new water and mm. add two whole cardamom okay two cardamom and two teaspoon for fennel seed okay fennel okay. can yes. you write and after for us if you write said, it i will translate it in arabic and spend arabic it arabic and tell them keep that overnight and then churn it in the morning along with warm milk or water and drink this along with your breakfast okay Okay. This is the best energy drink, which will keep you more, uh, you know, have more memory, hmm. focus, concentration, energy, and stuff. Now, hmm. all these things will get with the energy drink. Okay, okay. Uh, Doctor Sumita, do you have already treat coronavirus patients, and how? Many, many, many. Hmm. In, many in corona. Yeah, in America, uh, where. you won't believe you will find some testimonials also on my website and on my mm. facebook about corona i have two best products called immugen and ayurja mm. uh, do you know tinospora cordifolia the plant name guduchi uh, it is in india this plant yes it is the best immune booster and mm. we saw excellent results with guduchi in corona cases Mm-hmm. so i made a uh, extract tablet which is called immugen which is mm-hmm. eight times more stronger guduchi uh, in it in the form of extract in ganavati mm-hmm. so two in the morning two at night and ayurja two in the morning two at night i gave to more than 10000 of my clients all mm-hmm. over the world mm-hmm. and no one got corona then and who had corona they contacted me i gave them my supplements mm. and they never needed any hospitalization mm. and the symptoms they got rid of the symptoms very fast and mm. they did not get any complications of corona later on like bronchitis and asthma mm. and other related problems and loss of taste mm. and all this was not there okay okay we should write all these things and i will translate it in arabic because people yes. are asking us by chat this moment please please write it let it let uh, let us know it in in details yes, all this to you hmm? yes i'll write it and send it to you dr sumita let us little bit talk of a main uh, topic it is vaccine first are you with or against vaccine and do you want or maybe do you have take already taken uh, vaccine or do you want to take it frankly speaking i haven't taken it yet according to ayurveda there is nothing written about vaccination hmm vaccination came much much later like since 100 years maybe but be- before 100 years there was nothing like vaccination i think yeah it is from louis pasteur it is uh, in the 19th century yes in ayurveda something about janapada dhvans was written Mm. there is a chapter which is called janapada udvansa mm. janapada means huge uh, population mm. and udvansa means die mm. when the huge population die at one time it is called janapada udvansa okay mm. so in this chapter ayurveda it is written that people will die in large quantity when there will be a epidemic of different kind of uh, organisms like it may be bacteria viruses and all these things and how to get rid of those bacteria viruses it's written in ayurveda in that chapter hmm. two first thing they wrote is first thing you have to clean the air 
Okay. Clean the air, clean the water. How to clean the air and how to clean the water? Clean the air, clean the water, clean the food. Okay. So we have to clean three things, air, yes. water, and food. So how to clean the air? Ayurveda says there are very beautiful things in Ayurveda, you know, mm. which you can burn. Have you seen yeah. incense sticks? Sandalwood incense stick. You know, we and light the incense in stick. front of the god. Mm. Okay. Stick, of course, of course, everyone know it. So in Ayurveda, we have uh, one plant called Gugul. You yeah. know Gugul? Yeah, yeah. The Latin name is Commifora Mukula. Mm. Mm. Okay. So that Gugul is very good to purify the air mm. and to get rid of viruses and bacteria from the air of your house or your mm. vicinity. Okay. So try to burn mm. Gugul or okay. Gugul incense, mm. the sandalwood incense. Yeah, then if some uh, uh, they burn uh, camphor. Cow dung mm. is also good to clear the air. Comfort. So mm. you can also burn the cow dung, put little ghee on the cow dung, so all mm. the virus and bacteria will run away. Mm. Mm. Okay. Then uh, if you don't have anything, suppose if you don't have any such things, any plants, then you can burn garlic pills. Mm. You know the skin of the garlic. Yes. 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 Garlic pills, onion pills, mm. which you throw away. Yeah. Instead of throwing them away, you can burn them. Mm. Then, okay. uh, you know, ajwain, ajwain, wild yeah. celery seeds. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, put ajwain on those uh, mm. garlic skin, put mm. little ajwain. We have some black right pepper. To me, all these things, or people are still asking me, please put it in writing and uh, translate it for yes. us. Yes. So these are the things which will purify the air. Okay. When the air is clean, the air is pure, the mm. viruses won't be able to enter inside your nose mm. or it won't be uh, around you. Okay. You know, your body. Mm. So clear the air from the system. Okay. Second, Ayurveda says is clean the water. Okay. Yeah, because virus can come also from the water. Okay. Hmm? So first thing is don't use the utensils which the person who is having corona is using or hmm. infected person is using. Hmm. And to clear the water, the first best thing is alum. You know alum? Alum. Uh, Mostly after shave. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. 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 So what you have to do is just take a little bit in a cloth. Tie a seven times inside the water bottle. Okay. Or a water pot. Hmm. Just move it and remove it. It will clean all the toxins, and whatever toxin is there will come down on the uh, on the uh, base of the water. Hmm. So take alum water. Also, the best thing to clean the germs and everything from the water hmm. is dry ginger. Hmm. So put dry ginger in the water, boil water properly and drink the dry ginger water. What it will also do, if you have vir viruses gone inside the lungs or in the respiratory yeah. tract, also help you to digest those viruses okay. or those hmm. made by the virus hmm. and improve the lungs because corona always affects first lungs. Yeah. You have to, first thing is you have to protect your lungs. That is very important. Mm. So for that, you have to do steam inhalation with ajwain mm. water. So take boiling water, put ajwain seeds and take steam. Like how you take yeah. steam? Same, yeah, yeah. same way you do with ajwain. Mm. So whatever coronavirus or any virus is there will come out. Okay. The first thing. Mm -hmm. Then you, you take little oil, dip your fingers and apply oil in the nose. Which kind of oil? You can use sesame oil or castor oil or cow ghee. Uh, uh, olive oil is it will be good. Oil also is because you get more olive oil over there. Yes. So olive oil in both the nostril. What it will mm. do? It will lubricate the nose so mm. the virus won't be able to enter inside the nose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
uh, we use mostly in uh, in yoga you know uh, this uh, nasya with the uh, uh, salt and water and we take it in yoga they do neti but ayurveda yeah. doesn't to do with plain water because if you take plain water it will dehydrate the skin inside the mucosal membrane hmm. so when you are doing neti put little oil in it oil so it does dehydrate the uh, mucosal membrane yeah hmm. Hmm. otherwise your mucosa will become dry inside hmm. Hmm. so if it is dry then you will get more uh, 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 bacteria and virus will directly go inside hmm. so when you lubricate Stick up there; they won't go up. Okay. Mm. It's inside the nasal membrane. Mm-hmm. Same way, you can apply inside the ears to protect your ears. Mm. Apply the warm sesame oil in your mm. scalp. Mm. That will also help you to have good uh, sleep and Or good the... stress-free life. Okay. Okay. So oil here it can also uh, kill. viruses yes according to ayurveda in that chapter janapada dhuvan sir it is written that you have to clear the air you have mm. to clear the water mm. so whatever air is going inside you have to clear that by putting the oil so the clean air will go inside without the um, without the viruses and bacteria okay okay so uh, oil you should uh, enter every, and uh, be there in the the mouth or only completely inside the nose you can apply okay but just cut the nails otherwise you will get hurt inside the uh, yeah yeah okay <laughs> so you are I not going to to take vaccine your for you i may have to take because they may make it compulsory for the travelers yeah. and you know i travel a lot yeah so if i don't take vaccine i won't be able to go to my husband <laughs> 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 I have to be alone over here, and I don't want to do that. <laughs> ah, it is just because it is compulsory. <laughs> If they make it compulsory, then I will take. Otherwise, I am not sure okay. if I'll take it. Hmm. Uh, and do you think that Ayurvedic preventions are enough to prevent uh, Corona virus? Yes, I have seen in my practice. Hmm. i have seen on thousands of uh, my clients by giving my herbs giving my diet and home remedies and lifestyle changes they are not getting corona and if by chance some of their family member gets it they get rid of it very fast and without any complications mm. i saw a very good results in my practice mm. can you diagnostic uh, corona just by pulse reading dr sumita See, symptomatically, you can easily find out, but by seeing the pulse, mm. what is corona? Corona is basically the virus which attacks your respiratory system. Yeah. Okay. Mm. And respiratory system is connected to which dosha? Uh, it should be vata, no? Uh, yeah. Vata and kapha. Yeah. Vata will give you the movements. The air gives the movements of respiration, mm. and kapha is mm. lubricates the lungs. Hmm. so it's the combination of vata and kapha okay. so when you read the pulse the first thing will be kapha will be very prominent hmm. Hmm. kapha will be very high hmm. and vata will be second level and the pulse will be sticky in nature hmm. so the finger will stick on the very easily it will be sticky yeah so you already know corona just by pulse reading mostly uh, and then we can ask them the question you know about the mm. fever about the breathlessness and the oxygen level and difficulty in breathing mm. and when you correlate both the things then you can be uh, you know mm-hmm. sure about the and corona most, and what do you give at a medicine if in case uh, you have a patient who uh, got co- uh, covid-19 mm. what do you give him as a is there some ayurvedic uh, medicine or only yes, allopathic that's medicine what i told you there are some testimonial on my facebook and website mm. you can see after having corona how they recovered with my supplements mm. i have the best supplements called immusion and ayurja 
by which you can completely get rid of the viruses and prevent mm-hmm. any kind of viruses and bacteria mm-hmm. and it really helps even the for the fever i have a tablet called pyrino okay. which helps more faster than the paracetamol or, or the uh, western medicine for the fever mm-hmm. you won't believe okay okay let us talk dr uh, sumita about yoga how can ayurveda help in yoga in meditation and spiritual in spiritual life in general yes see if you see ayurveda and yoga are both connected to each other hmm. yoga is like a sister science to ayurveda mm-hmm. so ashtanga yoga is the best if you can follow ashtanga yoga hmm. and do yoga meditation pranayam breathing techniques hmm. anulom vilom hmm. meditation mm. they will help you to release the toxins through the nasal cavity mm. keep your uh, immunity high keep your oxygen level high because in corona you need more oxygen mm. to get rid of corona mm. so it is the best thing to incorporate yoga meditation pranayam all these things along with ayurvedic supplements and diet mm. for overall overall health and for longevity mm. because ayurveda believes in shatayu you know shatayu what is shatayu no what is it can you shatayu, explain shat means 100 mm. and ayu means life mm. so mm. now the yuga which we are going through you must be knowing mm. it is kala yuga kali eh, eh. this is a kala yuga through which we are going okay and in ayurvedic textbooks it is written in mm. this yuga Mm. the minimum life span of a person should be 100 years shat ayu shat means 100 and ayu means life okay so you should have a 100 years of life okay normally no no one has it because it is due to you can value. you can have it if you follow the ayurvedic guidelines properly mm. Mm. if you can follow the ayurvedic guidelines definitely you can have shat ayu it is written with confidence 5000 years back in the ayurvedic textbooks mm-hmm. and everything is true nowadays you know you won't believe before 5000 years mm. it was written in ayurveda about tuberculosis mm. about hiv like for example Even about HIV tuberculosis in, in ayurvedic scriptures yes is, uh, if you if you read the description of raja yakshma Yeah. raja yakshma is nothing but tuberculosis hmm. or anulom kshay hmm. anulom kshay means from rasa dhatu rakta dhatu comes down then mans when it all step by step goes down then you get tuberculosis hmm. Hmm. and exactly opposite is called pratilom kshay hmm. which comes in hiv or aids hmm. if you see the symptom of hiv and hmm. aids it's similar to pratilom kshay hmm. it starts with the loss of semen hmm. that mm-hmm. this is okay. so if you see the aids also it starts with the semen mm. and then slowly slowly blood muscles plasma everything start to go down they uh, lose weight their immunity goes down so mm. the description of pratilom kshay is nothing but hiv or aids okay so whatever is written 5000 years ago in ayurvedic textbook mm. is true today also i can tell you with the confidence but you have to follow you have to change certain things hmm uh, dr sumita what ayurveda can suggest as a daily routine for someone doing yoga and meditation if you are doing yoga and meditation that is the best lifestyle you are following hmm ayurveda will ayurveda always suggest to do the great lifestyle like yoga and meditation which is sattvic lifestyle hmm. along with that you have to be in a daily regimen Hmm. you know daily regime in ayurveda it's called dinacharya yeah and also there is a seasonal regime regime which is called rutucharya hmm so in every season your diet should be different it should hmm. not be the same okay and every day also your diet should be different for breakfast different for lunch and different for dinner okay hmm if you see my youtube channel i have made many videos on dinacharya and rutucharya okay. daily regime and seasonal regime mm. on my youtube channel so mm. there ayurveda says in daily regime when you get up in the morning first thing is look at your own palms 
you you are you know rub your hands look at your own, own palms because yeah. karagre vasate lakshmi karamule saraswati karamadhe tu govindam prabhate kar darshanam means in the fingertips there is a place of goddess lakshmi yeah okay we write checks we ch- write checks with the fingertips we okay. count money with the fingertips okay because fingertips is the main place of goddess lakshmi hmm so when you are seeing goddess lakshmi goddess saraswati which is the goddess of knowledge yeah. and lord vishnu or whatever lord you believe jesus or whoever hmm. if you see them first thing in the morning the whole day will be great okay so we have to look to our hand our hands and then pray to god okay. to goddess lakshmi who gives hmm. you money to goddess saraswati who gives you knowledge and whatever god you believe in mm. whatever supreme power okay and then you start your day with, by drinking a you know copper water vessel okay vessel full of copper uh, a copper vessel with a water you can keep near your bed mm. and in the morning when you wake up when you are sitting on the bed just drink the copper vessel uh, water okay. that will give you very good source of uh, copper and mm. it will give you very good joints and digestion Mm-hmm. and also detox the system very well okay okay so ayurveda says brahme muhurte uttishte mm-hmm. that means you should wake up before sun sun yeah, rises yeah. before wake up before sun rises okay. okay so brahma muhurte uttishte jirna jirnam nirupayan that mm-hmm. means if you feel that you are not getting proper motion feeling like going to the toilet mm-hmm. then you can sleep for little bit more okay hmm but if you feel that i have to go for the motion when you wake up that means your sleep is over then you can wake up okay okay so first see first see if your uh, previously eaten meal is digested and you are uh, getting the call for the toilet hmm. then you can wake up easily then go to the toilet brush your teeth okay try to brush your teeth with turmeric and salt at least turmeric once in a week salt. okay wow in a week <laughs> it will be turmeric yellow it color. won't be yellow. it won't be yellow pinch of turmeric hmm. two pinch of salt hmm. and sesame oil okay hmm. just mix them together and brush your uh, teeth properly hmm. and then do warm water gargles hmm. and then scrape your tongue okay because tongue also has lots of toxins overnight okay okay and then first thing in the morning you should have is energy drink which i shared with you not tea not coffee but energy drink it, it, like what I, I, i told you the energy you, you told uh, about it yes so have energy drink and then have fruits any sweet fruits okay it okay. is the best morning routine you can do okay is there some especially uh, daily routine to prevent common di- common diseases like diabetes blood pressure cancer etc at a routine daily routine yes daily routine is this thing which i told you in the morning hmm what you have to do in the morning i already told you hmm. okay okay so you must have heard one saying breakfast hmm. like king hmm lunch like prince okay and dinner like beggar Do you know what the meaning of that? What yeah. is the meaning? Yeah. It what is breakfast like king? Like breakfast yeah. like large breakfast. King. Large breakfast. Large breakfast. Yeah. What king used to eat large <laughs> breakfast? <laughs> yeah. Explain please so what Okay tell 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 me one answer. Yeah. What is the job of a king? What is the job of the king job of the king is to rule uh, the country no uh, and yes. to yes so for ruling what he requires mind good mind mind because he have to take more decisions yeah of with which uh, which place to fight okay. what to do what mm. political decisions have to be taken okay so the main job of a king is mental okay so breakfast like king means the food which improves your mental capacities okay. you should be eating for the breakfast okay hmm. so hmm. tell me the food which are good for the mind 
uh, in Lebanon, we take that, uh, what we say, tin, tin, what is? Uh, uh, tine. Uh, you remember what we took in Lebanon uh, as a breakfast? Uh, uh, I, I have not the name in English. Uh, tine, maybe, it's tine. It's called good for the brain? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, uh, it will improve intelligence and... Uh, okay. The best thing to improve brain is dry fruits. Dry fruits? Dry fruits. Uh, yes. Uh -huh. Almonds. Almonds, okay. everyone knows it's good for the memory. Okay. Mm. So have more almonds, walnut, figs, apricots. I saw you have such a beautiful sweets made up yeah, of yeah, yeah. dry fruits. Mm. Only in Lebanon you get it. Okay. Mm. I never saw such nice uh, sweets in all over the world, you know. <laughs> like, the best dry fruit sweets are there in Lebanon without sugar. You re and you're still remembering. It's good, good. You have natural sweetness with dry fruits, I can see, you know. Okay. Mm. So those dry fruits are the best for the breakfast. So have breakfast okay. like king. That okay. means include more dry fruits, more fruits which are rich in nutrients mm. in the morning breakfast. Mm. Means they also milk. Almonds, milk, warm milk. You can take cow ghee. You can take in the morning. Those are good for the breakfast. Okay. As a daily routine for everyone. Okay. Then second saying is lunch like a prince. Yeah. Now tell me another question. <laughs> now today <laughs> you are asking me. It's an examination or what? <laughs> you are asking me questions, so now I am. Yeah, asking this you moment it is your turn to ask me. <laughs> So what is the job of a prince? Tell me. The what job prince... of the prince. Uh, 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 I, the king. It is like the king, no? But little bit less. <laughs> what prince does? Uh, maybe he helped the king. What did the... What it should yeah. be? <laughs> this is a difficult question for me. Prince will have to learn different, different arts. Okay. Like, like horse riding, mm. sword, okay. bodybuilding, mm. all these things Prince will have to do. So to have a... Uh, strength oh. and fighting for the enemies. Mm. Okay. So the job of a Prince is more physical. Yeah. Not yeah. mental. Okay. So dry fruit you can eat in the morning. And heavy foods you can eat in the lunch. Heavy food. That's why the saying is breakfast like king and lunch like a prince. Okay. Okay. So if you want to have nice, good, heavy food, then have around 12 o'clock in the noon. Mm. 12 around 12 o'clock in the noon, the pitta is at his high position. Mm. You have lots of fire in your system and Whatever you eat will be, will get very easily digested. Okay. So have proper meal for the lunch. Don't skip yeah. lunch. Okay. Okay. Mm. So mm. proper lunch. And then the last saying is dinner like a beggar. Mm. <laughs> now okay. I want to ask you a question. Like a beggar, it's very <laughs> simple. <laughs> no need to ask. <laughs> the answer is already there. Yes. So in the dinner, you should take something very light, okay. you know, like a kichdi mm. or soup mm. or dal or rice, like mm. that. Mm. So if you follow these guidelines, you know, breakfast routine, lunch and dinner mm. is the best daily regime for everyone to get rid of all <laughs> these clinical issues. Sumita, they are always asking me and repeated the same thing. What you do to always keep so young and so beautiful. Oh my God! See, I'll tell you. I take it's your big secret. Energy. You don't want to. You don't want to tell. No, no, no. I will share all my secrets. I like to share my knowledge. You are from twenty energy. years. You was in Lebanon, and they telling me you are more young than before twenty years. Oh, How you do it? Now I must come back to Lebanon to meet everyone. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time. So the best thing I do is morning energy drink is must. Okay. 
first thing as i told you i wake up in the morning i look at my energy mom, I you should road. write it please write it because they are asking me write it in english i will translate it and put whatever, it whatever whatever i'm sharing i am doing it whatever okay. i'm sharing with you i am doing it okay okay and it is really giving me results not only for me for mm. everyone all my clients whoever is following okay so today whichever knowledge i shared with you is from my 25 years of experience okay hmm. all the nectar from my experience i have shared you mean you have 25 years old no <laughs> <laughs> no you don't see more <laughs> no 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 <laughs> i am not <laughs> uh, 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 last question dr sumita sure. uh, you are a vaidya doctor but also you are a spiritual woman Yes. What is how you live as your life as a spiritual seeker, and what is Ayurveda give you for you for your spiritual life? See, Ayurveda always suggests to live a satvic lifestyle. Hmm. If you live a proper satvic lifestyle, you won't be very sad in a sad situation. You will be able to control yourself in a sad situation hmm. and be strong. and you will be not very overwhelmed if you get something very good you know in mm. your life mm. so yeah. you can be mentally and physically stable if you follow satvic lifestyle okay so you can lead your life very easily and you can ins- inspire other people also if your mm. life or your life uh, style is spiritual if you believe in god if you do meditation yoga if you if you are following the routine then by looking at you and you know listening to you other will get influence and you can influence many 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 other lives okay that is what i believe mm. and, and i always believe in karma if your karma is good you will always get good in your life but practically what you are doing as a spiritual practice i do meditation regularly i do yoga i do walks mm. I try to be in nature as much as possible, like go in the sunlight. You have time in the all this garden, go in the forest, and all in the lake. I saw yes, you. I do. So many patients. Sometimes one hundred, two hundred patients by day. So how you can? Yes. All I this take time. out my time. I I do whatever I like. I take out my time and I do it. Hmm. Okay. Every day, one hour meditation is must for me. Okay. praying and meditation i always do since i was like in a fifth standard like i was around 10 or 12 years old 10 or 11 years old mm. i started my meditation and praying from there that time until today i am following it without break mm. Mm. you had seen me doing meditation at your home also you remember yeah 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 and also i took your many photos of you doing meditation you remember <laughs> yes i remember <laughs> what is your last suggestion uh, dr sumita for peoples and uh, in uh, in this meeting what do you want to tell at a last my Sorry. suggestion would be try to live a most routine life mm. don't uh, go over on anything mm. try to have balance in each and every portion of your life like mm. it may be diet it may be lifestyle it may be relationship it may be social status it may be staying up on the media you know hmm. on facebook and whatsapp try to limit everything you know hmm. i'm not saying don't do this don't do that and i'm not saying whatever i'm uh, i am suggesting do everything 100% hmm. but try to do little changes in your life which are positive things and you will definitely see good results within 2 or 3 months after doing some some little little changes one by one like what this changes you you want to you mean changes means whatever i suggest you can do a different lifestyle okay. try to uh, you know change your uh, mm. sleeping uh, time waking up early mm. having meals on proper time okay. try to reduce the junk food try to eat uh, more fresh uh, made food mm-hmm. try to have ghee in your food okay. have more warm liquid and soupy kind of food okay okay Okay, uh, Dr. Keep Sumita. Keep your immune system high. Uh, it was a big joy to welcome you with us. Uh, if Same you, here. We can also continue. You can continue with us, or 
also your people, they can continue with us our meditation. We can, in this case, uh, talk in English, not only in French. It was really, yes. we, we have a lot of, uh, uh, of things to, to learn from you. Yes. We already learned, I already learned from a long time. And this moment, also with your smile, and we are always laughing, it means you spread also joy around you. <laughs> so, uh, yes, thanks a sure. lot. And hope what is the also, point in remaining sad and unhappy, you know? And always hope to see you again in Lebanon because people are always asking about you. Thank you, sure, I will. <laughs> A nice day and Jay Guru Dan. Jay Ma. Jay Guru Dan. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you very much. Okay. Dr. Jacqueline, la parole.